Canada's Minister of Defence is in Iraq. His visit comes amid fresh debates about Canada's military role in the fight against ISIS. Natasha Fatah is tracking this story for us from the newsroom. Natasha, tell us about these reports. What do we know? So the first critical image that came of Harjit Sajjan in Iraq came actually from the Iraqi Defense Minister's own website. This image was starting to make rounds on social media. Now, we, if you go directly to his website, khalidobed.com, he has shared these images. He's also posted a video on the Defense Ministry's website of he, himself and the Canadian Defense Minister in Baghdad having a meeting with the representatives of Iraq's federal government, also military officials. There you can see Harjit Sajjan going through the line, meeting um, members of the military there. And this again is taking place in Baghdad. Now this is inside that building and again, senior officials having a conversation about what Canada's role should be as they move forward fighting ISIS. So these are the images that have been shared by the minister in Baghdad. And so we know that took place earlier today Today, this evening in Iraq, we understand from local politicians uh, from, with the Kurdish community, the Kurdish regional government and Kurdish media that in fact he is now in Erbil and that is where he is staying overnight. Now, as you've mentioned, Jennifer, neither the PMO nor the um, defense ministry have confirmed in any capacity that in fact Harjit Sajjan is there on the ground, but certainly these images being posted all over social media and on official websites in Iraq. The timing is certainly interesting, Natasha, with this visit coming just days after Canada played an important role alongside Kurdish fighters. Remind us about that. That's right. And an important role in a region where our defense minister is right now. So if you take a look at this map, the green line indicates where the fighting is taking place between Kurd Kurdish Peshmerga fighters and ISIS. We know, uh, according to local media, that the defense minister is in Erbil. But it was in Mosul, Iraq's second biggest city, that a critical battle was fought earlier this week week between the Peshmerga fighters who had Canadian support on the ground. We understand that ISIS launched a surprise uh, offensive against them, so the Kurdish started fighting back. The assault was so intense that the Canadians who were there in a training capacity ended up becoming backup support for the Kurdish fighters, and also in that capacity, Two Canadian fighter jets also participated in aerial bombardment that the coalition forces, including the United States, said was critical in defeating ISIS in this particular battle that went on for 17 hours. So this was a major offensive um, carried out by the uh, ISIS military, but the Canadians, along with the Kurds, were able to push them back and defeat them in this particular circumstance. This has been uh, applauded really right around the world as a great contribution from Canada. But again, uh, Defence Minister Hajit Sajjan was in the UK on London said, yes, this has been a successful uh, week for us there in Iraq, being able to help out the Kurds, but they are still committed to removing those fighter jets from Syria and Iraq. So saying again that their focus, this federal government's focus, will be on training local fighters. Now, this has been met with a considerable degree of criticism. Many, including the official opposition, have released statements and comments saying that perhaps this needs to be rethought if the Canadian military is able to defeat ISIS and help the Kurds so strategically and so defiantly, then perhaps we need to rethink what the Canadian government's role should be in the region. Thanks, Natasha. You're welcome.